Hey guys, I just thought I would do a little welding video for for some people that are new to welding and stuff like that. Uh, I've been welding for a couple months now, probably about five months or so. Um, pretty good. Um, I'll just show you some of the welds that you newer guys will start kind of get a, closer to being able to to do after some practice beads and stuff. Um, something like that. Um, it's somewhat smooth. You can see the little pools of molten metal. Um, you can see it kind of the heat marks there and stuff like that. So, but um, yeah, I was just going to do a little video, a little welding video, just for like I said, some of you newer guys to welding. Um, I'm going to show you guys just how to. Um, put the weld together just do some smaller plate I think this is about a one eighth both of these are about one eighth thick um, so yeah um, just uh, this is my 90 amp welder um, it does not or MIG welder it does not use gas or I guess it would be a wire feed but um, I use O35 um, flex core wire um, made by Lincoln Electric. I've used different brands of wire, but um, like uh, ProStar and stuff. Um, but this is the one with the least amount of splatter I've found, so which is hard to find with something that uses flux core. But anyway, um, what we'll do is show you here. Um, First, what you want to do is when you're um, wanting, when you want to put weld two pieces of metal together. Um, these are just two scraps I had laying around. I'll show you just to, for demonstration purposes. Um, what you want to do is um, for just thin metal, just grind down like the rust and paint and stuff, and then for the just um, newer metal, just kind of clean off the scale and stuff which is from when they roll it um, when they hot roll it kind of gets a bit of a scale on there but yeah just kind of clean it up with a grinder or a file or whatever you have um, wire brush even works if you just got some minor rust and stuff and then probably usually on some of the like the bigger and heavier pieces if you're not going to clamp the pieces down you want to um, clean off a spot for your grounding clamp. I know I've seen a few people just put the grounding clamp directly onto the metal, doesn't matter what surface it is on. Um, it doesn't make a smooth current all the way, all the way through the metal. Um, and that's basically what welding is. Um, it's like putting two wires from a light socket or like a plug together and having that arc go across the wires but this is controlled. So this is the, sorry, there's just a bit of splatter stuck onto the nozzle here. This is the wire feed gun. This controls the, um, the settings for the wire speed are right there. So when you're welding metal, um, whatever thickness, you just want to probably do a couple test um, beads just to see what wire speed is good. I, I run it up at about eight on this welder. Um, different welders run at different speeds at different numbers and stuff. And you got your minimum and maximum. Minimum uh, runs at about um, I think about 30 amps or no 60 amps um, and max runs at full 90 amps. So when you're welding stuff probably I at 1 8th I usually do about um, max or 90 amps just get a good solid um, molten surface and stuff just to get a good penetration I mean um, yeah so okay what you want to do is like I said clean up both sides um, most metal you most when you're welding two pieces together you usually want to weld both sides if you can um, so what you do is take 
if you if this is if you have a stick welder, um, sorry, I can't really help you. I'm not familiar with stick welding. Um, this is my first welder, so I'm pretty good at it. Um, what you want to do, this is live wire, so there's always current running through the wire. So with these welders, you want to keep it away a bit and they'll let the wire touch the metal um, instead of you touching it with the wire. So get it about where you want and then put your helmet down, right? But, um, yeah. So what you want to do is probably do a tack, just a small little weld right there, and then one right there, and then do it on the same side on the corners too, or on the opposite side. And then, um, there's a couple different welding patterns you can do. You can do a straight bead, and that doesn't get very good penetration on both, both pieces. Or you can do um, kind of a C shape, like that, back and forth, kind of overlapping them, right? But, um, and then other ones you can do, which works better for like, you can use it for flux core and stuff because you don't have the shielding, shielding gas, um, you can do little circles, overlapping in the middle of the circle, like that, all the way down. Um, different welders require different speeds of moving the gun, but, um, so I'll show you just a, um, yeah, like I said, just clean that up and stuff like that. Um, I don't usually weld on what I had these stands to weld on, doing some welding on my back arm, but don't have anywhere else to do it, so just do it here. Um, usually if you weld on wood, it burns and stinks and smokes, fills your shop or garage or whatever up with smoke. Um, and another, this advis advisory for flex core welding, make sure you, if if you're going to do it inside, make sure you have good ventilation. Like I have this fan here, blowing out towards the door where that bigger fan there sucks it out and shoots it out the door. And another thing is when you're welding, just tacking, just tacking two pieces of metal together. Like I said, just doing a little weld there and a little weld there just to hold the pieces together. Um, you don't really have to wear a mask, but um, when you're welding for a long period of time, you want to get yourself a fume mask, um, just a welding mask, usually they'll say welding fumes or cutting fumes and stuff like that, and wear that because that smoke can cause all kinds of respiratory problems and won't cause it immediately, and if you just do it a little bit on the weekends and stuff, you probably don't really have to worry about it, but, so. Alright, um, just let me get, put my welding jacket on, and helmet and stuff, and. I'll show you guys how to weld.